Hi and welcome to this course lesson for today we will continue with bioinformatic history and background part 3 so let's begin. Cost efficient reading of DNA The first DNA sequencing method to be widely adopted was the Maxim Gilbert sequencing method in 1976. However, its inherent complexity due to extensive use of radioactivity and hazardous chemicals largely prohibited its use in favor of methods developed in Frederick Sanger's laboratory. Indeed, 25 years after obtaining the first protein sequence, Sanger's team developed the plus and minus DNA sequencing method in 1977, the first to rely on primed synthesis with DNA polymerase. The bacteriophage UX-174 genome, 5386 BP, the first DNA genome ever obtained, was sequenced using this method. Technical modifications to plus and minus DNA sequencing led to the common Sanger chain termination method, which is still in use today even 40 years after its inception. Being able to obtain DNA sequences from an organism holds many advantages in terms of information throughput. Whereas proteins must be individually purified to be sequenced, the whole genome of an organism can be theoretically derived from a single genomic DNA extract. From this whole genome DNA sequence, one can predict the primary structure of all proteins expressed by an organism through translation of genes present in the sequence. Principle may seem simple, extracting information manually from DNA sequences involves the following 1. Comparisons, e.g., finding homology between sequences from different organisms, 2. Calculations, e.g., building a phylogenetic tree of multiple protein orthologs using the PAM1 matrix, 3. And pattern matching, e.g., finding open reading frames. In a DNA sequence, those tasks are much more efficiently and rapidly performed by computers than by humans. Dayhoff and Eck showed that the computer assisted analysis of protein sequences yielded more information than mechanistic modeling alone. Similarly, the sequence nature of DNA and its remarkable understandability called for a similar approach in its analysis. The first software dedicated to analyzing Sanger sequencing reads was published by Roger Staden in 1979. His collection of computer programs could be respectively, used to search for overlaps between Sanger. Gel readings, verify, edit and join sequence reads into contigs and annotate and manipulate. Sequence file. The Staden package was one of the first sequence analysis software to include additional characters, which Staden called uncertainty codes, to record base calling uncertainties in a sequence read. This extended DNA alphabet was one of the precursors of the modern IUBMB, International Union of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, nomenclature for incompletely specified bases in nucleic acid sequences. The Staden package is still developed and maintained to this present day.
DNA is the least abundant macromolecular cell component that can be sequenced. Percentages, percent, represent the abundance of each component relative to total cell dry weight. Data from the Ambient Technical Resource Library. Ooh.